everyone welcome back to my channel um if you don't follow me already my name's law i'm a travel lover digital nomad currently doing a working holiday in australia and for those of you who do follow me you may notice that i am somewhere completely different and that is because i decided to move from sydney up to the gold coast and yeah got here about two weeks ago and it's amazing i love it so much might be wondering why we decided to make the move basically had been in sydney for around nine or ten months now and loved it like really really enjoyed living in sydney um it was definitely a good place for me to start my working holiday visa but it rains a lot in sydney and the winter was really cold i just wanted a little bit more sunshine a little bit warmer weather more beach life and also just to experience another area of australia i've obviously been to melbourne a couple of times love melbourne so much um I definitely prefer it as a city than I do Sydney but for me like living in Melbourne was never really an option for me because there's not really much beach life and the winters are so cold um summer in Melbourne amazing so I wouldn't actually be opposed to going and living there just for the summer um and then I have been to Perth before and again really loved Perth but didn't feel the desire to live there hadn't been to Queensland at all so yeah I decided it was about time to make the move before I got even more settled into life in Sydney and then it was like harder to say goodbye to friends or things like that so yeah I am now based in the Gold Coast and I love it so much. My friend also moved up here as well. So we're both here, we're in two different areas. So we get to kind of explore the best of both ends of the Gold Coast. Yeah, and my new place is literally like a, f a few minutes walk from the beach. And I love my new apartment. As you can see, it's very big and spacious. So I will give you a quick room tour now. Okay, so you come in through the entrance hallway and we have this huge open living dining kitchen. Um, it's so cute and it's massive. Like, it's just so nice and beautiful views. Look at that blue sky. That is exactly what I came here for. Um, we also get a great view of the sunset out of this window, which is just amazing. Loads of plants, like it's just super cute. We do have a balcony out here as well, which gets tons of sunlight during the day, which is amazing. And then coming through here, we have got my housemate's room, the laundry, that's just the toilet nothing interesting to see in there and then we've got the bathroom again super cute love all the plants that was like one of the things that made me want this place and then this is my absolutely huge bedroom and um, so i think i'm gonna get like a desk and another plant there but yeah this is my beautiful room i love it so much but yeah, so we left Sydney a couple of weeks ago and we actually drove up to the Gold Coast from Sydney um, just because between us, it, to be honest, probably would have worked out cheaper than flying anyway. And we, between us, we had so much stuff. Like we filled up a Subaru Forester. It also meant I could bring like my bedding, my mirror, my plants, and I didn't have to like get here and then buy everything from scratch again. And it was like just nice to have a bit of a road trip. Um, we obviously drove up the coast towards the Gold Coast and we stopped overnight in a place called McLean, which is just like a small town um, just past Coffs Harbour, like an hour past Coffs Harbour. And yeah, it, it meant that like, 
So we stayed there the Thursday night, just drove straight up. I think that took us about six hours, maybe six and a half with like stops and stuff. Maybe even a bit longer, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, stayed overnight in a little motel, which was really cute. So I will put the link in the description because it was just like a nice halfway point. Um, and yeah, it was like slightly inland a little bit. So you could see some farms and some goats and stuff like that. Like, it was just cute. Um, and then on Friday, we finished the journey. So at that point, we only had about an hour and a half, two hour drive left to get to the Gold Coast. Um, so we actually did, it's really cool along the highway. There's loads of, look at, if you look out for the brown signs on the road, they're basically like tourist drives. So you can come off the highway and you basically do like a tourist loop and end up back on the highway. But it just means you see a bit more um, than you do if you just stayed on the main road the whole time. Um, and yeah, we've been here just over two weeks and we've had blue skies and sunshine every single day since we've been here. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick video um to be honest to give you a little life update on where i'm at at the moment and there will be hopefully more videos coming of me exploring the gold coast a bit more as of next week all public transport in queensland is 50 cent a journey which is unreal so i think we'll probably go up to surfers at some point um we'll go to up to Brisbane and yeah, just do all of the fun stuff. I feel like the life now that I have in the Gold Coast, so obviously it's early days, but this is how I pictured life in Australia. Like when I was back at home and dreaming about coming here and living here, this is the kind of life that I was imagining. Um, so even though I obviously loved Sydney and had a really good home there, made some amazing friends, I feel like my Australia journey has like properly, or my Australian life has properly started now. So I'm very, very excited to be in Queensland. And yeah, I hope you look forward to seeing what I get up to here. on the beach because it's only like a four minute walk from my place and it's going to be a beautiful one because the sky is so clear. 